So this is about the cable uh, size intake. And come to the cable uh, lay, laying of the cable. So how to lay the cables? So let's discuss that. Yeah. One more question, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, sir, how we get the value of the sine five when the voltage drop we are calculating? Which one? X sine five. The phase, the, uh, the power factor. That's it. Cos phi you already know, which is 0.95. Just to take the uh, this reversal of this cos inverse of 0.9. Then the phase angle you get, that you just uh, make it for the sign. That's it. Understood? Sir, no, uh, we sir, know I'm that cos phi. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Uh, cos phi, you know, which is 0.95. Got my points? Right. Yeah. Now, phi equal to cos inverse of 0.9. You will get an angle. That is the angle actually we required. Phase angle. Phi is the phase angle. Cos phi is the power factor. Got my point? So okay. that phase that phase angle, suppose 35 degrees. So sine of 35 degrees will give you the sine phi. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So comes to this. Um, so the uh, the routing of the cable tape. So the routing of the cable uh, generally having so many different uh, types to route the cable. So one they are using the general uh, uh, ground. They are directly burying in the ground. Or some will install a ladder type cable trace and they are placing and they are running the cables through those uh, trays. And some are directly laying on the floor itself. So it's a totally depends upon your uh, pro pro project cost team. So nothing, it's a kind of an optimization. In the abroad, in the I have seen the Middle East uh, projects. Where they are the cable routing, they they the main uh, work is uh, in the Middle East uh, projects. The cable laying is a, uh, having a good work there. I mean, uh, the laying procedures are very uh, nice to have. Uh, very nice to see that, but uh, because they are mostly focusing on the safety point of view safety and quality point of your broad on this and uh, and it's also depends upon the type of the project team i mean uh, suppose if i got a project of uh, uh, with a tariff rate of uh, 9 rupees then this all will also a matter for me to, to install if i am getting a project with a tariff rate of low like uh, 2 rupees 3 rupees so I have to design a substation with respect to that. So what I will do, I will compromise on the uh, laying of these cables uh, in a such a way. So what I will do, I will directly lay on the uh, lay yeah, the cables on the ground itself. I don't make a trenches or cable trays or well. So it totally depends upon your choice. That's it. The routing of the cable depends upon the, your choice. But some conditions we need to consider when you are routing the cable. One is the main thing is the bending radius of the cable. The bending radius of the cable generally we will limit the maximum bending radius to 15 times of its uh, diameter. Suppose my cable diameter is 3 mm, I have to consider nearly the uh, bending radius of 15 into uh, 15 times of the diameter, 15 into 30, which is nearly 4,500 4, mm, it's nearly 4.5 meters, suppose. So 4.5 meters, I have to look, I have to do the sizing. I have to, I mean that, um, let's see. This is the panel where the cable is coming from the source. It has to connect to this panel from the bottom, okay? So this cable, when it's uh, connecting to this, how it will connect? It will connecting like this, right? So this 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 angle or this radius, what you are making, 
this radius should be bending. You are bending, right? So this should be 15 times of the diameter of the cable. So 15 into dia is suppose 20. So it's nearly uh, 3000, right? So the three meters is required the a radius. So you cannot bend as like this. So the some radius is there, that is the bending radius. So this is the radius you need to see. So that should be a 3000 uh, mm, 15 times of the diameter of the cable when you are uh, doing this. Yeah, please. Uh, what I would like to add here is that if your installation is uh, with a good contractor such as Saudi Aramco, okay. the spending radius is 25 times, not just 15 times. Oh. 15 times is for the normal contractors that are working oh. for medium voltage cables. But if it is high voltage cable and we are working with a contractor such as Saudi Aramco, then this oh. is at least 25%. Okay, okay, but uh, but as per uh, IES one two five four IEC uh, sorry IEEE one two five four method of laying of the cables, so it is put uh, fifteen meters and twelve meters. Oh, sorry, twelve times of the dia, fifteen meter times of the dia. So maybe that is a practice there. I believe. But as per the guidelines, fifteen times is sufficient. Hello. Team, am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So as per the standards, 12 times or 15 times is sufficient. 25 times, maybe it's a practice, I think. Okay. Fine. So when I am doing this uh, for in my substation or what, suppose this is my... Uh, which so this is my substation and i am having a 33 kv feeders and this is the bus connected and i am having transformers and so here i just want to uh, a, have a, some suppose a control room is there here so i want to bring all the cables to this control room I want to bring all the cables from the CTs, PTs, all this. I want to bring all those to these control rooms. So you have to design a cable uh, route in a such a way that where you can see most of the cables are accumulated, there you are you can giving an extra high uh, width of the cable trenches. And when you are moving towards the cable, uh, towards the feeder, particular feeder, there you can have a... Uh, lower bits of the cable trench. So and it's forming like this, the cables, which are pulling from different, different parts. Yeah. So again, this, all the bendings, everything, we have to uh, check with respect to that uh, 12, 12 times of the diameter or 15 times of the diameter, depends upon the size of the cable. And now the method of laying this cable, uh, whether you are directly burying the cables, the burying of the cables, we can see in the high voltage levels of the cables, like 400 kV, 220 kV, which is a power carrying cables. But for the control and instrument cables and small uh, LT cables, which require a maintenance or uh, need, say, some uh, kind of uh, observation, so definitely we need uh, a, we need to see uh, we need a cable trench for carrying these control cables and instrument cables inside the substation so these cables like 2.5 square mm cable where you have 6 square mm 6 square mm cable 4 square mm cables and the uh, instrument cables as well as uh, my um, hd cables like uh, high tension uh, sorry um, auxiliary cables for um, the like for the breaker operation for the isolator operation all this. So when you are laying the cables, the the high uh, the AC cables generally we prefer to lay on the down tire. So if I am looking into the trench, uh, let's say here. 
so this is my cable trench team uh, which is uh, in the uh, at the fgl at fgl this is the fgl and this is the cable trench and uh, we are have can have a tires of this cable this is a one tire two tire and three tire generally on the low and the least uh, the last tire we will lay a power cables which is uh, like uh, the sending the uh, power carrying uh, the supply for the uh, breakers isolators as well and in the middle we are uh, placing the control cables uh, like cdpt circuits or breaker uh, status indications or isolator indications the control part on the top the communication or instrument cables will come on the top will come on the top and the standard one is so what we will see when you are doing this trench design is it's part of how what is the width to be what is the width to be maintained in the cable trench this width what is the width to be maintained that is the first question i will get right and the second question is what is the depth to be required for to this so it's totally depends on what is the how many volume of oh, sorry the volume of cables coming in this path suppose let's again uh, see our sld uh, like this these are my 33 kv feeders i am drawing only one one case and this is my transformer okay and this is my uh, control room where all these cables to come now this isolator breaker ct isolator this isolator having two cables right so i am having a i am forming a trench like this i am forming a trench so here i because of uh, i had two cables from this a four cables from this uh two cables and four cables here up to this part i am having only some 20 cables from here 40 cables 60 cables and so on 100 cables are coming in this part so the width should be more and it also depends upon the ties number of ties and the, it will depends on the depth of the cable train so I cannot bring all these cables in a three tires in a single tire with a, having a big width. Again, the structure, the land is required more. So what I have to do? I have to dig much, and I have to uh, look into the number of tires, like four tires, five tires. So I am going in a depth way. I will increase the depth, not the width, because I am not having the land. Yes. So the width and the depth is totally depends upon number of cables uh, coming in that part so again number of cables coming is one case so these cables are placed on some tire right some cable tray we will call this as a cable tray which is carrying this so i have to size the width of the cable tray required so the width of the cable tray will tell so this is suppose the width of the cable tray is 300 mm okay suppose i calculated and i found that 300 mm is the cable width cable tray width and a person has to suppose tomorrow if we want to lift this cable a person has to enter uh, as get down into this trench and he has to take this one right he has to uh, pull out this cable so that space we required a general right so that space we will assume in a practical case uh, like 500 mm or uh, 400 mm case okay so this will give a uh, give you, gives you the width of the cable tray which is 300 plus 500 to man entered and to pull so the total is 800 mm is the width of the cable tray and suppose now i am having a three tires generally this is the uh, width we will place uh, we will have a 100 mm uh, from the bottom uh, it should be 100 mm and from the cable to cable uh, tray generally we will uh, give 300 mm as a spacing 300 mm so 100 plus 300 plus 300 plus again on top again 100 so 3 3 6 7 8 
So the height of the cable tray, the depth of the cable tray is also 800 mm. So 800 into 800 mm will uh, carry three tires with 300 mm cable trench. Cable, what we will call, uh, yes, cable trench.